Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, we have got a slight continuation of a musical theme we started recently with a puzzle based on the uh, opening notes of our intro music. Today we have a puzzle by uh, Johnny Kaufman, who is a professional opera singer. Uh, maybe that doesn't impress you, it impresses me. Um, not only, of course, is he a professional opera singer, he's also setting puzzles. So. Um, this is his Magical Kingdom Sudoku, which um, has a magic square in the purple area, some thermos, which are just normal thermos. They increase strictly from the bulb to the end, um, and a king restraint. So the magic for the magical square king restraint gives us the kingdom. So the king restraint means that um, the num a number cannot see an identical number by a king's move. So the two numbers in those two cells could not be the same. So it's also known as a no touch restraint because even diagonally two numbers that are the same cannot touch. So do feel free to have a go at the puzzle on the link below the video before watching my attempt. Um, but I'm gonna have a go now, let's get cracking. So we've got some long thermos here. Oh, by the way, the red cell is um, has no effect on the puzzle. It is just the crown where the two long thermos meet. So, I mean, I think we're meant to be envisaging the Magical Kingdom um, fairy castle. Anyway, let's get cranking properly now. So, two long thermos, which are one, two, three, four, five, six digits long. So that gives them um, three degrees of freedom between one and four, I think. Three, four, five, six. So we're probably going to notice something from the, the confluence of them. Let me just fill in the possibles because that often helps not only understand what's going on, but explain it as well. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, not so much. Actually, yeah, okay, I'm not sure what that does tell us, if anything. Three, four, five, six. Okay, well, forget the long thermos then. I'm not sure that they're helping me as much as I'd hoped. Let's go for the magic square. Now, we know that a three by three magic square is bounded by certain constraints. It always has a five in the middle. I did see someone in the comments saying, um, why don't constructors fill in the five in the middle? of magic squares, we all know it. But by the other token, some people say, why would you put in a five when it doesn't need to be put in? So that argument could go on forever. Right, this is the beginning of the thermo. So it can't be the seven or nine, and this can't be the one or three. This here on the middle of the thermo, ah, slightly different restriction. It can't be the one or nine because of the thermo. Um, yes, and this can't be three opposite seven. A magic square has rows and columns that add up to 15 always. That is just what it does. Um, and the diagonals. Now, here, this cannot be one, five. It could be one, five, nine. What it can't be is three, five, seven, which is the other alternative. So we can fill in one, five, nine. Now we then have the three, five, seven pair there. Now that doesn't exactly tell us where the even numbers in the corners go, but the two must be next to the nine and the eight must be next to the one. That always happens in magic squares. So in fact, does the one have to be bounded by six and eight? Yes, obviously it does, sorry. Not, not getting my theory very good here. So yeah, the nine has to be bounded by two and four. So we're not finished with this magic square yet. It could be a reflection of one possibility, which is um, two, seven, six, nine, five, one, four, three, eight. It could be the alternative four, three, eight, nine, five, one, two, seven, six. They're not ruled out, but Nine, one, five, none of them tell us anything about these thermos. How intriguing, okay. Um, this, these ones are only four long. Hmm, 
I'm not quite seeing how we're meant to make the progress here. Ah, 6, 8 pair over here. Right, so that can't be 6. This can't be 6 or 8, so now its maximum is 7. That can't be 7 and its maximum is 5. So these have lost 2 of their degrees of freedom down at the beginning. 2 and 4 over here, at least that can't be 4. This must be higher than 5 now, and this must be higher than 6. Oh, and it can't be 7 because of the 3, 7 pair. Um, have we got any quads or quintuples up here? No, not yet. Hmm, interesting though. This, mm, I don't know, this must have two or three here. Can't have both. Well, that's not very helpful. If it had three, what is the alternative? Sorry, I spelt them out a moment ago. They are 276 and 438, yes. And it can't be 438, because if that was 43, that had no possible value. So the 276 goes at the top, the 438 goes at the bottom. Aha! Yeah, and we can just check that every diagonal, every row, every column of this magic square adds up to 15, and they do. Okay. So this can't be 6, that means this can't be 5, and this can't be 4. And now we really are narrowing down the possibilities along the longer thermos, but not completely. Right, how about this one? It could start with 1 or 2, or 5 or 6, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 in the middle. That's not very... Almost no point putting these in, there are so many possibilities. Especially at the top, that's not very helpful at all. Whew. Okay, I'm going to have to spot something else that's neat. Okay, three can't be there and can't be in any of these cells because of the thermos. So three is in one of the top row cells in box two. So what? Doesn't mean anything useful. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, it's interesting. I don't. I don't quite know where we're meant to be looking to make further progress here. Four nine two. I must be failing to eliminate something. I feel. I don't know. No, I think the logic's all solid and doesn't give anything particularly more. This obviously can't be more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Might as well fill these in. Two, three, four, five. Ah, that can't be six or seven. Three, four, six, seven, eight. And that has more license. Five, six, seven, nine. But this now is limited to no more than five. So that must come down to no more than four. Ooh, we're starting to form possible quads. Ah, not quite. If this was four. Three, two, one. That would have to be three. Ah, brilliant. Yeah, that doesn't work. If this cell was four, we'd have three, two, one. This would have to be three because it would be seeing four, two, and one. Then you'd have three, two, and four in the yellow cells in row three, and that could have no value. Wow, that's neat. So this is a five. Nice. So that goes up to seven. This now has to be a six because five and seven are gone in the box. This has to be eight, nine at the crown. Very, um, what's the word? Appropriately. Nobody puts nine in the corner. You can put nine on the crown, though. Um, okay, it hasn't narrowed that one. Actually, it hasn't narrowed this one down. But we have five, six, seven, eight, nine already in the top box. This is one or three. Seven, five, six, one, eight. Ooh, okay, this can't be five or six anymore. Can it still be four? Yeah, let's ask if this can be three, actually. That might be more useful. Then 
two, one. Hmm, that's three or four, that's three or four. Well, that just stops that being four, but it doesn't prove much else. Hmm, oh, that can't be two. I don't know why I said it could. That means that can't be three, but that's all it means. <sighs> ah, now we've got a three, four, five, eight quad Rupal in row four. So the other two are one and nine. <laughs> Which doesn't help at all. Eight and six have to be down here somewhere. Nine down here. Seven and five down here. This is me just marking time while I try and spot something by filling in certainties. Okay, nine in the first column. It can't be in the top row now, so it must be in one of those two cells. It clearly can't be on a bulb of a thermometer. I was going to try and pull off the same trick with nine in the final column, but nothing like it could be in any of those cells. That one nine was such a neat piece of logic. I can't believe it does nothing for us. Very irritating. Right. Um, two, seven, six. No, there's nothing else to be getting. This is so nearly a one, two, three, four triple. I wish. I wish there was some other proof of what that's telling me. Um. Hmm, a little bit stuck here. Four, three, eight, then nine, five, one. I just feel there's something very nice under the surface here. I bet this can't be three. If that was three, you'd have four here, five here, eight here. That would make this nine. That three would insist on two and one which would make this three and two, wouldn't it? And that's, that's three and two, that's two, no, that could still be, well, it has to be less, I don't know, I don't know what that's proving. That, that doesn't seem to lead to any concrete conclusions. Nine, five, one. Clever puzzle. Right. Aha. These two cells, they can't be 9, 7, 5, 3, or 8, 6 from the column and box. So they are 1, 2, 4. Now that is interesting on this row. We now do have a 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple. And 5, 6 are gone. The other cells have to be 7, 8, or 9, including this one, which can no longer be 4, as if it ever was going to be. It hasn't sort of, I didn't blow it wide open, did it? Up here, we've got a trio of one, two, three, four. It's quite interesting though, if this was one or two, then four wouldn't necessarily be here, but there'd be a one, two pair there. This would be three, making this four, five. In fact, that couldn't be four. It would have to be one. So we'd have four and one. So that would have to be two. So this can't be one. We've established that. So let's try it again. If this is two, then we've got one here. Three, four, five. One here. Two or three here. Two, three pair there. That's not really blowing any f frogs out of the water, is it? Hmm. Four, three, eight. Ah, where can eight go in this row now? Yes, we've narrowed that down to a three, four, five, triple. We've had that narrowed down for ages, so eight is here. Okay, 
there's at least something. That puts nine on the end of the thermo. We get an eight, seven pair that we can do almost nothing with in row three, I imagine. But we are getting some numbers. So eight is there. So eight in this row is in box six. That's not particularly helpful. Nine, five, one, eight. One, two, five, six, eight, nine. Ah, oh, it's just not giving anything. Nine is confined to those two cells in box three. Still, the possibility of this being nine is spoiling all other conclusions. <clears throat> that was a 9. This would be a 9. That doesn't tell me anything. Oh, why did I put 9 in those cells? That's complete codswallop. I'll get rid of that. One is restricted to those two, four to those two, three to those two, but this could be two, three or four. Did I think four had to be restricted to those? I may have said that. I don't think it's true. Oh, something must be going on with the third. Oh, the king's move. Wake up, you fool. I forgot the king's move constraint completely. 16 minutes in, moron. Look at that cell. Seven, eight. Imbecile. What a wasted effort so far. Okay, let's see. I presume there are other things. That two is preventing that being a two. Oh, the king's move on the thermo is massive. They can... Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, it's not. Thank God, I'm dreaming about that. For some reason, I was imagining a non-consecutive king's move on the thermo, but that's not relevant. Okay, two can't be there, though. So what else have we got that... I just shouldn't... That couldn't be eight by King's Move, but now by Ordinary Sudoku. Um, nine. Nine is looking at that cell now. Okay, so we have got some progress. I do apologize for the nonsense in transmission earlier. That gives us a nine there. Nine there. So one of these isn't. So that's not nine. This isn't eight. And therefore eight is here. Let's take the eight out of the corner there and put it solid eight in there. One of these is eight and another one is nine. Interesting. Slightly interesting. Imagine forgetting a constraint like a moron. Look, eight in the top row, that eight and that eight by King's move force the 8 up there. 8, 7, 9. Oh dear, I just feel like I've been wasting everybody's time. 4, 3, 8. Right. 4. No. I just wish one of these thermos was affected a bit more by the King's Move thing. I can't see how they are. So still got my one, two, three, four, triple, eight, seven, nine. Oh, come on. We've got to be doing something now. Four can't be in any of those cells or that one. But that still leaves a few where it can be. Now, if this was a three, what would that do? That would make this a four. We'd have... Two, one, three, two. That makes this a four. This is a one. This is now a four. Oh, this can't be a seven anymore. But we could be going four, five, six, seven. So if we'd have five, six, seven, eight, nine in this box, one would have to be here. Two, ah, it's all possible. Right, 
Got to find something better than this now. Eight. This can't be eight. This one. Because of that eight. These are, this one can't be three either. That is nine, two, or four. And the others are nine, two, three, or four. Now, one of those is nine. That's not very helpful. These include five and seven. So this can't be five or seven. That's not very useful. Four, three, eight. What am I missing here? Come on. If that was three, these would have to be four and five because of the king's move. Six, seven. That would have to be three, two, one. Ah, oh, it's still just possible. Hey, it's still a very tricky puzzle, actually, to be fair. I mean, I may have wasted a bit of time over some moves, but they have not blown it open. Seven is confined to those two. Can't be there because of the king's move. Nine, eight, seven. Six. That's, I mean, that's not a helpful trio for six up there. I think I'm just staring at something and not seeing it. I probably am. What is it? If five can't be in those cells or there, that's not helpful. Three, four or five. This, if this was four, that makes this three. That makes that three. That's not possible. Okay, if this was four, this would be three. You'd have two, one here. So this would have to be three in the box, and that three would be touching that three. So this is not four by that logic. So that's six, this is seven. This one can't be six anymore. Nine, eight, six, seven, one now in this box has to be here. Two could be in either of those. This can't be three or four though, so it's two or five. This one is two, three or four. Ah, that seven rules out that seven. And we can put seven in, not there, but there. Six now is confined to one of those. Nine, eight, seven, six. <sighs> you just think that when you actually get a couple of numbers in, it's gonna it's going to blow it open and it absolutely doesn't. Right, seven is confined to those two. Nine, five, four, four, eight, six. In fact, these are from two, three, four, seven. So that, ah, oh, look, this cell is a weird naked single. It sees nine, five, one, eight, six, four, two, and seven. So that is three. So that isn't three, which doesn't reduce the possibilities towards the front of the thermo, but this isn't three. <sighs> Same is true about the th if this can't be three, because that makes this three, because they become two one. So that's not three. So in fact, three in this box has to be here. That's the only place left for it. Got two, four, five, triple. That three forces the rest of that thermo. Okay, so that can't be two, and that can't be one. Ah, oh, that one hasn't even decided the other bits. This can't be one or two. This is such a clever puzzle. It really is absolutely keeping its secrets from me. Well. The alternative to it being a clever puzzle is I am not a clever solver and that too harsh to contemplate, frankly. Um, seven, nine, eight, one, two, six up there. It's brilliant. It's so tough. One of these is seven, which tells me nothing. 
8, 9 right over here. This one isn't 7 because we can't have 8 or 9 here. Okay. In fact, this has to be less than 7. That has to be 6, 5, 4, or 3. Making this 5, 4, 2, or 1. And this well, could still be 4 or 5 as well as 8 and 9. Not at all helpful. Um, still, this can be 2, 3, or 4. That's so irritating. So 9, 8, 2, 7, 1, 6, then. Ah, 3 can't. 3 is up there somewhere, so it can't be in those two. So one of these two is 3. That means this is 4 or 5, because it can't be 6, and now it can't be 3. So that's 4 or 5, and that gives us a 4-5 pair in the final column. So this is 3. Wow, that just takes some doing. That fixes this as 4, which pushes 5 on up the thermo. Now this is 1. That makes this 3. Uh, three. That's not 3. 8, 2, 3, 7, 9, 1. Let's take the 3 out of the corner. Oh, come on. 9, 4, 7, 8. 1 in one of these two. Ah, don't forget the king's move again. I feel like I can never forget it again in this puzzle. But I probably will almost immediately because that is the way the human mind works. Now this can this can't be three anymore, and this can't be one. That means this can't be two. Thermo to the rescue? Not quite. Still four or seven there now. Eight, one, three, four, seven, two, five, six. Where does nine go in this box? Got to be here because of the king's move. So 9 is there. That means 9 in the bottom of column 3 is in one of those two. This can't be 4 or 7, so it's 2 or 6. Ah, oh, so if this was 4, 2, 6, 7, why not? 5, 2, 4. Oh, this is 4. Look, that's the, oh, that's the ninth in a row. Jeepers. I've clearly had my brain fried on this puzzle, and I'm just not even spotting obvious things anymore. So that, on the thermo, that has to be less than 4. So we finished the middle row of three boxes. Hurrah. Well done, man. One or two there. Okay, so one has to be here because it's in the top row. That's two. That's now three. Five and six, can't fill them in, and I don't care, because we are at least moving again. This is five or six. This is four or six. Actually, I still can't resolve all those. Never mind. Let's take out the uh, corner markings, because they're just irritating now. They're reminding me of my past failures in this puzzle. Eight, four, and nine in these cells. But the top one, oh, look, the top one sees nine and four. So it's an 8. Ooh, I'm feeling. Can I rule out this being a 4? No, it could be a 1 here and a 2 or 3 here, so I can't. Um, 1, 5, 7 is that set. This is now not got a 2, so it's 3, 4, 9. This is 2, 8, 6. The top one can't be an 8 by the king's move, and by that 8 being in place, in fact. Ah, 8, that can't be 8 anymore. And 8, 3, 2, 5. This can't be 2 or 5, so it's 1 or 4. But one of these is 4, and they all see that cell. So that cell has to be a 1. The most useless thing you can do is place a 1 on a bulb. Maybe not, because this is now 5, 6, or 7. So we have to end in a 9. Indeed, we have to have 6 here and 5 here. So we get 7 here. This isn't 9. This isn't 6. This is 3 or 4, because 2 and 8 are in the column. That's a 3-4 pair, so this is 2 or 8, and it can't be 2. Excellent. Right. Real progress.
That's six, that's eight. One column completely done. Six and five. This can't be six or five, so it's three or four. We get a pair. This is five or six. One, three, four, eight. So seven is in one of these. Two and two is in one of these with nine, is it? Yes, they're not in these cells. So two and nine is a pair over here. Again, let's get rid of the corner markings because they're not helpful anymore. Five, six, and seven. So that's six or seven. This could be any of them. That one hasn't fixed anything above. Right, that six has fixed the five, six pair. Brilliant. So we can do that. Uh, undo whatever I just did. Right, six there. Um, that five makes this a six. That finishes off the top three boxes as well. Now, this can no longer be a five. So we've got a six, seven bear. This is a five. That can't be five or seven. That's a one. The last one goes in there. We can finish the column. Finally finishing the puzzle now. That seven has sorted out the six, seven pair. What a really good puzzle. I mean, that was really tough. Now, we've got three and two here. Yes, King's Move sorts that out. That's really nice. Four and three, two and nine. Three, four, nine. Look at that. That's a very nice magical kingdom. Um, Thermo King puzzle. Very neat. Thank you very much to um, Jonathan Kaufman, who also credited uh, Narayana off the Discord server for helping him with um, sorting out. I think Narayana supplied the thermometer in the central in the central box that was all you needed rather than putting digits in it. So really neat work. Um, it's a great puzzle, really enjoyed that. I made a bit of a ricket at the start with my failing to remember it was a king puzzle, but actually that probably only cost me about five minutes. So sorry for wasting a little bit of your time there. Entertaining, hope you enjoyed it, solving it as well. Hope to see you again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.